In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the keyword search box and how to input keywords. To get started with Content Competition Assassin, you should enter a niche or a keyword and the software will find related keywords. You can also manually enter keywords as well. You can get these from other types of keyword only tools, from Google Search, or from any other method that you want to use to build a large keyword list. When you are putting in a keyword, it's better to go with more of a broad term than one that is more narrow. So your keyword should probably only be two to three words at the most, or even a single word if you want to get the most keywords out of your term. Let's enter green smoothie. We then click the discover keywords and the software is now working to bring up related keywords. It brings up a second window here and we can see a whole list of keywords. These particular keywords are actually coming from Amazon. These are keywords that people are searching for on Amazon, which is great because it shows that people are interested in buying products in, or information about these keywords. If you want to, however, you can also manually enter keywords by clicking this button and it's going to bring up the same window and then you would just paste your keywords. You can also do this by, if you want to, doing a hybrid method by using the discover keywords and then putting in additional keywords if you want to. For demonstration purposes, I'm only going to show a few keywords here just so we can get a little bit of a better idea of how the software works. Okay, here's some good, a good group of keywords. Now, after these are up, we have two options. We can insert search volume, which I will show you in a later video. You also have that option to do that there. Or we can go ahead and start searching the platforms to see if these keywords are coming up on the platforms. Now, you can simply select all or you can select them singly. So let's go ahead and select all and then we're going to grab our keyword competition. Okay, now the software is finished. One thing I want to mention with the keyword or the platforms is that depending on what level of software you have, you may only have the opportunity to search for a few of the sites. The basic level has Kindle, it also has Nook, it also has SlideShare, which you'll see here, and it has uh, Udemy, but it does not contain any of the other sites. So your window for discovering uh, the keyword platforms may look slightly different. Now we can see that it has searched all of these sites and we now have our actual competition that's coming up for each of these sites. I'm gonna go a little more into detail on another video about analyzing the competition but for many of these platforms, you'll see there are two or three different columns. The first one is the total competition, and for, that will come up for each keyword. And that just refers to just the general search results. So for example, if you were to go over to the Amazon Kindle store and put in a search, that's what would come up. The keyword and title refers to any of these keywords being in this, the title of the book. And as you can see, it's much lower. And then the keyword and title exact is the exact keyword phrase and that order and title. And this keyword and title or keyword and title exact is really the true competition because it's telling us how many specific pieces of content are actually targeting that title. For example, this term here, green smoothie detox, may have 307 pieces of content that come up, but only one has that exact phrase and title. Or green smoothie diet plan, for example, may have 52 pieces that come up, which is even a lot lower, and it does not have any exact keyword and title results. So by selecting keywords that have zero to very few keyword and title results on any platform, and then titling our content with that keyword and title for that platform, we can easily rank on that platform and get more traffic, subscribers, and sales.